Have you guys ever wondered if pineapple that we eat turns to pink? Yes, it does exist. Hi, my name is Afika and today our group are going to talk about the pink pineapple. Historically, pink pineapple is developed by a well-known food product company in the US which is Del Monte Fresh Co that is based in Costa Rica. The pink flesh pineapple, which the commercial name is Pink Glow, is first introduced in the market in 2020 after being under development for 16 years. Yes, there's really a lot of time. So pink low pineapple or pink pineapple basically is modified genetically through gene silencing technique. So through the gene silencing technique, the beta carotene gene in the pineapple will be silent or halted and the beta carotene enzyme is being lowered so that the lycopene which is responsible to give the pink color is able to be expressed as the mechanism pathway is stopped or halted at lycopene. So we will get a pink flesh pineapple. So the problem statement or main reason of producing this GMO products which is caused by three main reasons. First, to produce a pink color flesh through gene silencing technique as I already mentioned before. And second, due to uncontrollable flowering. Well, as we all know, pineapple is a non-seasoning plant. So it keeps producing over there and this causes overproduction and causes waste to the farmer. So to control it, the ethyl hormone is modified and only allow a certain limit of the growth of pineapple. Third is because of the tingly aftertaste which caused by the bromelain enzyme in the pineapple. So bromelain is an excellent metalizer. So, so when we eat, we will feel discomfortness and tingly sensations due to the bromelain enzyme that is break down the protein in our mouth. So in this GMO pineapple, the bromelain enzyme is lowered as to reduce the tingly sensation when consumed the pineapple. So it will taste extra sweet and doesn't have the tingly aftertaste. Next, we move into the method of modifying the pineapple to achieve the extra sweet pink pineapple product. There are two modifications involved in the production of this genetically modified pineapple. The first one is the conversion of yellow flesh to pink flesh color and the second one is the flower controlling modification. So first, we are going to look into the conversion into pink color. This genetic modification is done through the agrobacterium to mephaceous mediated transformation. There are two things need to be focused in this modification which are the first one is the accumulation of lycopene and the second one is the conversion of lycopene into beta carotene is prevented. The genetic modification include the phytoensensis gene from tangerine as the gene of interest which was overexpressed. This means that the crop can produce a lot more lycopene. This gene is under transcriptional control of pineapple bromelain inhibitor gene which will also inhibit the production of bromelain enzyme. They also silence the lycopene beta cyclase or lycopene A cyclase gene expression using the RNA interference technology in order to increase the lycopene accumulation. The partial coding fragment of beta lycopene cyclase and A lycopene cyclase genes is added in the sense and antisense orientation. Antisense sequences enable the RNA I and post transcriptional gene silencing. In consequence, the expression of like P and like E enzymes is suppressed, thus glycopene is accumulated and as it is not converted into beta-carotene nor alpha-carotene respectively. Thus, pineapple gets its beautiful pink color. Next, we're gonna move to the how we're gonna control the flowering trait in this GMO pineapple plant. First of all, we need to know that the flowering trait are induced by the ethylene biostasis in this pineapple plant. The ethylene also will help in the seed germinating, uh, fruit ripening, flower and also leaf senescence and abscission. The flowering in the pineapple plant will cause a major problem in the industry because the overproduction of the harvesting fruit and also the uncontrollable cycles of the flowering tree. And hence, this issue need to be countered with the uh, expressions of the biosynthesis of ethylene need to be altered. See, the method that will be used to alter the gene expressions of bioethylene synthesis is RNA interference or gene silencing method. The first step is we isolated the maritime specific ACC synthase gene. Second step is the sense and antisense oriented sequences will be formed in the ACC synthase gene. In order to form a happy structure for RNA interference separation of endogenous ACC synthase, Intron is used to separate the sense and antisense oriented sequences. Introns that will be used is isolated from the light inducible tissue specific LS1 gene from the potato. 
the gene that already being formed will be located to the TDNA sites of Agrobacterium thermophysians, and this vector will be transferred to the host cell which is E. coli. After that, the selection process will be take place which the host or the cells that contain the gene will be take to form the pineapple prime that is already genetically, genetically modified. Let's take a look what is the difference between the rose pineapple and regular pineapple. The researcher did the transformation to increase the carotenoid biosyn biosynthesis. This increment leads to a few distinct characteristics. First, it yields a red internal flash with yellow spots compared to the regular pineapple with a yellow internal flash only. Second, the rose pineapple has a tiger morphology which the regular pineapple doesn't have. Third, the antioxidant content in rose pineapple is higher compared to the regular one. Rose pineapple also tastes sweeter than the regular pineapple. Rose pineapple contains less bromidine enzyme compared to the regular one, which makes consumer mass less tingle and burn when eating it. The second transformation, which is decreasing ethylene biosynthesis, the less ethylene concentration makes the pineapple plant less sensitive to it, the natural flowering. There are 5 benefited GMO pink pineapple or rose pineapple offer that I will explain under 5 key points which are flavor and taste, flowering cycle, against cancer, safe and food supply diversity. Firstly, GM pink pineapple contribute to better flavor and taste. It is less sour, juicier and sweeter in taste than normal pineapple. It is also cause a less tingly taste when consumed. This is because pink pineapple consists of bromelain, enzyme which will break protein in our mouth which will lead to numbness. Uh, numbness feeling when we consume. So uh, this pink pineapple is great to have less bromelain enzyme where we can enjoy pineapple freely without that feeling. Okay. The second key point is flowering cycle. Traditionally, pineapple grower will wait for pineapple flowering cycle occur naturally which means the fruiting season also will occur unpredictably for each pineapple tree. While silencing an enzyme in GM pink pineapple, synthesis of ethylene also occur where uh, the ethylene will delay uh, natural pineapple flowering and allow shadow fruiting. So, what is actually ethylene? Ethylene is a one of plant hormone that can control pineapple flowering. Next key point is against cancer. Some manufacturers claim that this GM pink pineapple could against cancer such as prostate cancer due to high number of lycopene. This is because lycopene is antioxidant element and antioxidant is said can prevent the cancer cell from dividing. However, this claim could not be included in the labeling of GM pink pineapple because it is lack of study and proof from researchers. And fourth key point is safe to consume. GM pink pineapple is approved by FDA as safe to consume because the pink pineapple uh, pink color of the pineapple just to do just due to the lycopene pigment content. And we can commonly find the lycopene in other fruits such as tomatoes and watermelon. No side effect when eating this fruit. Therefore, this fruit is safe to eat. And last but not least, the fifth point is pink pineapple is good to us since it will diverse our food supply and more people will buy this pink pineapple due to the color attraction. I'll be talking about the limitation of pink pineapple or officially known as pink low pineapple instead of unique characteristic and improved quality that are being provided by pink low pineapple such as it is more juicy and sweeter compared to the conventional one. It is not yet widely accepted by the consumer although most notable organizations such as USDA and FDA have recognized it is safe to consume some people claim that it has potential health risks and may harm the environment. Because of its bizarre appearance, which is pink in color, people would have second thought and perception concerning whether it is safe to eat or does it give side effect to one health after being consumed. Secondly, it is not widely commercialized nationwide even though it is now already entered the market last year. Based on the official Pink Glow website supplier, it is currently available only in the United States region and can be get through to online retailers found via the website. Last but not least, the price of the pineapple is relatively expensive compared to the conventional yellow pineapple. The pink low pineapple can be get at $49 a pop, which is very costly and definitely an investment. Getting a pink pineapple literally requires a splurge. If we convert to Malaysian ringgit, it would cost you about RM197 to get a taste of this sweet pink flesh pineapple. According to Vice President Marketing of Del Monte Fresh Produce, Pablo Rivero explained that the price is comparatively high because of the pineapple take a long time approximately 24 months to grow, which is specifically being handpicked in limited harvest at a selected farm in Costa Rica.
Now I will share with you the regulatory aspects of the rosé pink pineapple. Pink pineapple is actually safe to be consumed, safe to sell, and safe to the environment. We have to acknowledge that Del Monte Company has really give their best to establish this pink pineapple. So what they have done is actually they have participated in a voluntary consultation with the FDA regarding the pink pineapple. The company submitted information to the FDA so that the FDA scientists can review information regarding the new plant variety. And after reviewing the the data, the FDA scientists concluded that there is no unresolved safety or any regulatory issues regarding the pink pineapple. And in December 2016, they uh, completed their evaluation and conclude that pink pineapple is safe to be consumed and they also approve that the pink pineapple is now safe to be sell in the United States. So after consulting with the FDA, the company plans uh, to label their pink pineapple as extra sweet pink flesh pineapple. Uh, as mentioned before, this is a GM food so definitely uh, it will be needed to be labeled as a genetically modified food or genetically modified organism. So if there is other company that interested in marketing this pink pineapple, they are advised to consult with the Office of Nutrition and Food Labeling under the Center for Food Safety and Applied Nutrition or any requirements on labeling that includes any statements or claims related to the pink pineapple. Actually, the pink pineapple is uh, planted in the South Central region of Costa Rica, not in the US. So, in back in 2020, where the pink pineapple is still under development uh, in the R&D stages, the government of Costa Rica gave Del Monte Company permission to expand their plantation of fruit there. So, later in 2013, the company earned importation approval uh, from US Department of Agriculture, USDA. And according to the SDA's uh, Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, the pink pineapple does not have the ability to prop propagate or persist in the environment uh, once they have been harvested. So, uh, it is safe to plant the pink pineapple and they give no effect to the environment. So, let's move on to the conclusion. So, Del Monte's new pineapple have been uh, genetically engineered to produce lower levels of the enzyme already in the conventional pineapple that convert the pink pigment uh, lycopene to the yellow pigment beta carotene. So lycopene is the pigment that makes tomato red and watermelon pink. So it is commonly and safely consumed. Uh, so uh, this pigment, it creates a sweet and less acidic taste that standard pineapple has. The pink pineapple also produces less of the bromelain enzyme which is known to make your mouth burn. So that makes this new fruit a genetically modified organism uh, or we can call it as GMO, a term that strikes fears in the hearts of health conscious eaters everywhere. So does, does this mean that the pink glow pineapple is unsafe? No. On the contrary, in a, 1920, uh, in a, nine, in a 2016 review of the extra sweet pink flesh pineapple, the Food and Drug Administration FDA concluded that it is as safe and nutritious as its conventional counterparts. So, hearing genetic modification may evoke image of a mad scientist in dark laboratories, tinkering with chemicals and, introdu and introducing dangerous substances into the unsuspecting public's diet. In reality, the genetic modification of crops has been a pastime of humanity for millennia, with many popular fruits and vegetables being the result of selective breeding to produce cultivars in the most desirable qualities. So, take for example, the banana. The wild version is much smaller and riddled with large seed compared to the tastier one found in grocery stores worldwide. So, generally, it is safe to consume this genetically modified organism pineapple, pink pineapple. So, that's all. Thank you.